Hello everyone, this is Thomas Hubank. Finally finished all the dungeons for the game. Every dungeon has been made. Um, the last one, it's aren't quite, well, they're not entirely furbished yet, but they are, fi they're finished on the, on the blender side at least. So this dungeon is a giant pit. Go down to the bottom, I'll show you the bottom here. Um, uh, I think I covered this in another video, but these ceilings here, the, uh, rib vault ceilings, uh, I took that from real life architecture. Go to medieval castles or churches, you'll see a lot of that. It's just a way of keeping a stone stone ceiling overhead from collapsing in on you. See wine, wine, what is it called? A wine, uh, wine cellar. Wine cellars would have those kinds of ceilings. You've seen all of this area in another video. I made another video where I was in this area showing it off. But I hadn't finished the other two dungeons when I made that video. This one had taken me forever to make. I mean, <laughs> it was crazy. So in the other video, I went all the way over there. You can see the bridge. I feel like I might be giving away too much about the dungeons. So I'm not going to show you everything, especially in this video. Got to leave some stuff for you to explore, like what's down that way. Ah, got to fix this. Um jump across here so um, whoop, don't fall off don't fall off it's a giant pit and there's gonna be a chain or a rope going down the middle of it and down there are a bunch of giant rats you gotta get the giant rats getting the giant rats is a part of the uh, main quest someone's got to eat all those giant rats well not you but um, you'll find out you'll find out the giant rats are very necessary what do you think of my um, Think of my crenellations, huh? Let's go on in here. Oh, actually, I may have to run this to Blender again. The UVs are a little bit off. Um, gonna go up here. What do y'all think of my textures, by the way? Wood textures, things like that. Let's go on down here. Yeah, tall enough to protect you from arrows, that's for sure. Go go down here, and all of a sudden you're in this giant chasm. I kind of like to go back and forth between cramped areas, and suddenly you're in a vast room that's huge. When I made this, at first I was thinking, this is gonna be kind of boring. So I put these giant pits in there that you could easily fall into. So you gotta watch out for those. It's quite cool to look at, though, at least. See, gotta watch out because ooh. ooh. You could fall down there easily if you're not paying attention. Same with this one. Got to go across right here. And right here? Yeah, it can come upon you quite suddenly, can't it? This place is falling apart. It's just completely collapsing in on itself. Actually, some tra there's some trails in this place I always like to hike at. I was thinking of the bicyclists. The, the, the trails are eroding just like that. You know, if you're a bicyclist and you're just going around the band and... There's a spot on the trail where it's eroding away. It's gonna get you. It's gonna get someone if it hasn't already. Got all these different rooms for you to go and explore. Go up this way. We have some uh, cool sound effects in here. What, you know, wind or something. Creaking, creaking wood. You're gonna fight a guy in here. You're gonna fight someone in there. And here is where you can tell that this is a dungeon made by me. Any place that's super confusing, uh, yeah, chances are it was made by by me. But it, here it's at least it's the confusingness is only an illusion. It's just one forward path. You just have to figure out where to go uh, forward from. Ah, see, always missing a spot. So yeah, I'm gonna have to run this through Blender one more time before. Um, before I can call it. Oh! Oh shoot. I won't pay attention. Just like I said. Well, luckily we have this area right in here for in case if you don't pay attention. Um, I want to show you this room over here because it's pretty cool. It's right over here. It's a pretty cool little room, huh? Alright, so let's, uh, let's move on to the next dungeon here in just a second, but this, this will all be covered in giant rats. There will be a bunch of giant rats down in here, and you're going to need to get them. You're going to harvest them like uh, 
kind of like a cowboy sending cattle on a cattle drive, but uh, here it's it's a little different. It's giant rats instead. I guess you're uh, not a cowboy, you're a rat elf. Oh, that's weird. Okay, let's, let's move on. This is the mega ring. Gotta get some... Uh, let's put some stuff on. Chest plate. Let's get that shield and sword. Let's not forget the cape either. Okay. This is the mega ring. This is the biggest ship in the world. It's freaking huge. Uh, it's supposed to make any cruise liner look like a dwarf of a ship. Click a, a lever here, and that bridge will come down here. I haven't programmed it all. See, I've been working with the right side of my brain, and now I gotta change gears. So I gotta go now to my uh, to the left side of my brain. Hopefully, I don't fall anywhere around here. So you have to go down there. Here, why, why don't I actually show y'all? Gotta go here to this room. Like my textures. August in his game, he's starting to use um, artificial intelligence. So I guess, you know, I'm going to be replaced. I'm going to be out of the job. You're not going to need people like me here. So you're going to raise the portcullis over there. And the portcullis will be raised. And it will now block that way. You click the lever here and now the bridge will be raised up there. Y'all will see it when the game is finished. What I mean. Now we have to go up to the top. So this... So the last dungeon, August told me um, there are too many vertices or too many faces, and it's taking up all this room. So when I made this dungeon, I decided, okay, well, I'm, I got lots of vertices, lots of faces. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, figure out a way to simplify it. First, I was going around hitting Control X, Control X, Control X, um, but then I found an easier way. I'll, pu I'll post down below how I did it. You hit X, and then there's an option that you click. I can't remember it for the life of me. Um, what the name of it was. It was, you know, delete only something. Delete. I, I, I'll recognize it when I see it. But uh, I'm not going to click over to Blender right now. And uh, the videos on my computer, whenever I'm editing, they uh, they get kind of blurry for some reason. So I got. I'm still figuring that one out. I've, all right. So we've been through a bunch of cramped corridors and hallways, right? And then all of a sudden. Now we're suddenly getting a, a sense of the scope of the Mega Ring. Um, boy, there's actually some cut content that I was I was gonna put a Mogosh in here, and then um, there was also the biggest bed in the world, the biggest ship in the world, the Mega Ring is supposed to house the biggest sh the biggest bed in the world, the giant bed. But you know, you just gotta. You gotta kill your darlings, as writers like to say, so... Um, you're gonna be bouncing from one tower to another, by the way. It's, it's kind of optional. You don't have to bounce from tower to tower, but... You can if you want to. And there's a tower in here, because it's not crazy enough already, isn't it? Could go up there. Actually, there's something cool up for here, I'm gonna show you. Rope bridge. So this tower, you can bounce from here to there. All this crazy stuff. Don't fall into the bottomless pit now. There's no fall damage yet. This dungeon is kind of um, evidently why I'm not an architect. My cousin and my uh, my cousin's wife, they're both architects. I told them, why don't you build a place to be nice and confusing, right? Like a maze. I told them, uh, we, we have codes. We have codes that we have to abide by. Like, there have to be fire exits. It has to be clear how to get in and out of the building. So that's why they're the architects of the family, and I'm not. That's why I'm a game designer, a game developer. <laughs> because, uh, you know, when you're a game developer, you're making level design, you've got to make it all crazy and wonky like this. All, uh, you know, how do you get out of here if there's a fire? I don't know. Um, there is no way out. <laughs> there are ways to go it, looping around on yourself. Hopefully not too many of you get too lost in here. I mean, um, I might have to think about that in the future, whether or not this is a good idea. Yeah, here it's, this is where it gets, you know, if you thought that area there was insane, this place is true insanity. 
Um, I'm going to have barrels and logs coming down here. you got to watch out for them. And um, come down this way. But, oh, wait, there's a cool... I like this room over here. Let's see it. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little room. I don't know what it is about it. I just kind of like making it. Something to do with the symmetry of it. It's so little. There's such a huge lack of symmetry in this dungeon. Any symmetry at all. I like this room too. Get a view of the outside. You got an idea now that you're somewhere around the edge of the ship, or maybe you know it might extend further, but now it's got to be somewhere below you. Go up here. Go up here. Another rope bridge. Um, let's see. There's no fall damage, like I said. So we could just fall down here. Look at this. So the bot, the, the enemies are going to be in this room. You're going to see it in the next dungeon I'm going to show off to you. It's pretty clear what this is, isn't it? Got a costume room over here. I guess you got a closet down in here. And you come up here, you can fix up the lights and the curtains. This is where all the peons sit. Peons sit down here. Don't want to sit with those riffraff now, do you? You want to sit up here with the highborns. People who are at the top of the scoreboard. This is where you want to sit. It's, it's, a, it's a theater. That's what it is. That's what that is over there. It's a stage. Stagecoach. No, it's not a stagecoach. Come on up here. And, uh... I'm going to skip the rest of the dungeon. Let you all explore it if you want. There are multiple ways through. It's, it kind of becomes a little non-linear over here. Now, there are going to be a bunch of drawbridges here. A bunch of drawbridges. We go all the way down to the bottom here. And there's going to be, um... There's going to be something for you to deal with down here. So, let's go... Let's go on up to the top. Up, up, up. The stairs will go... To the tunnel. Let's call him. Call him speaking up there. So he can actually jump this. Oh, fudge. <laughs> okay. Let's do it again. Up, 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 up the stairs. We're not going to any Shelob Slayer this time around. We're just gonna. Come on. No failures now. Come on. There you go. So then you come into here, and here is where you take control of the Mega Ring. So there's this crystal ball that shows you, um, you know, how on earth do you even pilot such a ship that's this big? Um, uh, yeah, it's a freaking big ship. Biggest ship in the world. At least, biggest ship in Dragon Earth. That, now you might be thinking, oh, you missed the texture alignment there, but that was actually one area where the texture alignment was off, and I thought... Actually, I kind of like it better like that, so I actually kept it that way. Uh, there were other areas where it was broken, I fixed it. Um, it's just something about it, how it makes the ship look like it's all crazy and wonky and falling apart or something. So I'm going to show you the final dungeon. At first, it's not going to look like a dungeon. Um, you'll notice I'm not wearing any of the hats or the helmet. Um, got to program something to do with that, because... Uh, you ever see Mountain Blade, you'll notice that your character goes bald whenever you put on a hat. There's a reason for that. <laughs> so, we actually we got that working earlier, but because we redid everything with the inventory, how it works. Um, got to reprogram that. Actually, I had to redo this dungeon on Blender because I missed these two textures right here and here. These two triangles. So, at first it just looks like you're in a zone at night, yeah? There's the uh, the moon. You'll notice something about the moon. Um, that's Gothica and that's uh, Neandro's tail. It's two dragons eating each other's tail. The sun and moon. Uh, that's part of why it's called Dragon Earth. And also this is all a bunch of... I don't know. I, I probably shouldn't go too far into the lore in this video. But uh, should have added the trees in the trees in before showing this off but I just finished this dungeon the other night or last night I don't remember when I was listening to some YouTube videos while making it it's the nice thing about working on Blender listen to 
you know, people talk as long as it doesn't have visuals to go with it or you don't need to watch the visuals. visuals. So there are a bunch of circus tents here, huh? Yeah, so if you go back a ways, there's a video where we've got the evil crazy clowns. They're going to be in this dungeon. You can see the rest of the dungeon over there. So let's head on over to it. There are going to be uh, areas where there's fog. And in those foggy areas, you're going to get attacked by uh, hand puppets. It's a bunch of hand puppets with ha uh, mallets, hammers, wooden hammers. They're going to come up and they're going to try to hit you over the head. Putting that cheesy uh, bonk sound effect to it, maybe. Go through here. Out the other side. Pretty cool, huh? Lots of crazy stuff in here. Okay, I better make this jump. Come on! Oh, phew. Made it. <laughs> uh, here they're going to be um, lions. They're going to be lions in here. I haven't made them yet. They're going to be uh, rings. You know, rings of fire. You got, and they're going to jump through the rings of fire and attack you. you got to run away from the lions. Tigers. Lions, tigers, and bears. Oh, my. Now, this is quite a long way you have to go through here. I might even put in some kind of, you know, swinging blades. I haven't made those. Um, I made ones that swing out horizontally, but I haven't made ones that um, swing out, you know, like, uh, I, don't, I don't know how to say it, without using a hand motion to gesture it. Okay, so here's the final part of the dungeon right over here. And, uh, yeah, like kind of like the Megarine dungeon. It gets a little non-linear here at the end, but you're at the end of the dungeon. Uh, so it, it can be a little maze-like, but you can use the tents as reference points. So you can tell, okay, I, I think I was, I'm on this side of the complex. I'm somewhere in the middle. You get the whole well, idea. It's pretty freaking cool, actually. <laughs> pretty fond of all these dungeons. A lot of hard work. Uh, no, there's a way. No, 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 there is no way through over there. Uh-oh. I'm getting lost in my own dungeon. That's not good. So, um, ah, that's the way through. Yeah, I just want to show off a little bit more before I end off the video. All right, let's go do this. Let's go to the end of the dungeon. So, hopefully next time you see all of this, there'll be uh, crazy clowns in here. And who knows what other nightmares I'll put in here. I don't know. Um, dancing bears. It's a little cruel. Probably should do it anyways. It's the tall tent. And then all of a sudden you can get to here. At this point, you know. You know that you're at the end of the dungeon. There's going to be something dreadful in there. Something terrible. So, go on down through here. And you go through here. It's getting pretty ominous at this point. And yeah. Um, there's going to be something in here, and it's not going to be fun for y'all. I'm going to put y'all through uh, a little bit of nightmare feel in here. It's not going to be fun for y'all. I, I, I can assure you <laughs> that um, <laughs> you're going you're gonna to have to earn uh, completing this game. Um, but you're going to have to come in here to get something, and it's not going to be fun. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. So, uh, I've been under 100 subscribers for well over a year now, so I'm going to start asking y'all to like and subscribe, um, like typical YouTubers do. So if you've made it through the end of the video, uh, please like, subscribe, comment, um, uh, do something. <laughs> uh, it, I mean, you don't lose out anything by liking the video or subscribing. Um, you don't even have to click the bell. So... Hope you all enjoyed and I hope you all look forward to playing this game. It's really coming close to being finished. I just gotta, we gotta work on combat more and a few other things too. Um, gotta make saving and loading work. All that jazz. Dialogue, cutscenes, things that we've done before. Not saving and loading, I've never done that before. So that's gonna be new for me. Alright, see you all in the next video.